Well, the storms in April took a toll on everyone in the community and the sulfur superintendent tells me their students are no different. That's what will make them stronger this school year. After April's EF3 and sulfur, the school district had a lot of needs like a new fleet. And we had four buses that were left out of the 16 that we had. Security fences, flooring and more. We've really tried to prioritize what's going to come first and um, be able to take care of those things. But despite what things looked like three months ago, sulfur Superintendent Matt Holder says his district is ready for the first day of school Thursday. Looks like a bunch of busy bees working around to uh, to get ready for uh, school. He says the tornado brought challenges beyond repair. That uh, even though the ones that we we had many kids that weren't directly impacted, we were all impacted. This is a small, tight knit community, and uh, if you go see our downtown, it it, it causes some trauma, and uh, it still does today. But they quickly saw donations started pouring in. But, uh, you know, living in a great state of Oklahoma, we have. Of, uh, people that are very generous. Superintendent Holder says overall it takes a village and he's encouraging families to reach out if they need a helping hand. The great thing about this uh, being in a small school and being in rural Oklahoma is that uh, uh, we all kind of know each other. We know who each other are. So, um, you know, I just encourage them to reach out to to their principal or, or school counselor and let them know what their needs are so that we can we can help take care of them. Megan Mosley, KOCO 5 News.